guys you welcome to my channel my name is Nifon Tui and on the channel I make certain tutorials I post new videos on Wednesdays and Saturdays so if you're into stuff like this make sure to check back on those days in order to watch new content in this video I'll be showing you how to make the red thumb the red skirt that you've seen in on the thumbnail and um, in the bureau footage before I started talking to you if you like the video please give it a thumbs up do not forget to subscribe uh, if you're a beginner or if you're a person that wants to brush up on your skill I offer online courses um, I'll be showing a demo how to make a jumpsuit for you to watch and see if it'd be convenient for you to learn online. If you're interested, send a telegram message to the number that you can see on the screen. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Have a lovely day. Bye bye. Alright, you're welcome to today's video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to draft the skirt that you've seen in the thumbnail. So, to begin, what we're going to do is we're going to fold the fabric so you can see that the fabric is on a fold the paper I'm drafting sorry is on a fold you can see this okay so now the next thing is to start drafting so put your paper on the fold and then start drafting you've seen the measurements already so all the all the measurements um, all the horizontal measurements are divided by four they keep the waist measurements okay all the other measurements that we have the waist to hip uh, sorry the waist to knee and the waist to slits are all vertical measurements so to begin what we're going to do is I'm going to come to the top and I'm going to draw a line half inch at the top okay I'm going to place all my vertical measurements now okay okay so from up here I'm going to come from up here and I'm going to place my um, uh, waist to my hip measurement at 8 inches from this line so waist to hip measurement from that line at 8 inches I'm going to place my waist to my knee measurements at 20 inches okay from the waist to the knee 20 inches and then I'm going to place the skirt length at the bottom of the pattern the skirt length is 29 inches okay so the skirt stops at her calf it doesn't stop at the knee okay so i'm going to come here just simply roll lines across all the points you've marked next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to place all my vertical measurements so the first vertical measurement i'm going to place is the waist the waist is 30 okay 30 divided by 4 is 7.5 so i'm going to come here remember what i told you all the measurements that go around the body are divided by four so the waist 30 30 divided by 4 7.5 then the next measurement i'm going to place is my hip measurement the hip measurement is 40 40 divided by 4 is 10 i'm going to come here and i'm going to make a mark now what you are going to do is you see this hip measurement that we've placed here we divided the foot uh, the hip that is 40 40 divided by 4 10 and we place it here now for the knee area what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract 2 inches from 10 and place it down here. So let's say you have a hip that is 36 inches. 36 inches divided by 4 is 9. So you'd have placed 9 here and then down here. You'd have subtracted 2 inches from the 9 and you'd have gotten 7 and placed 7 down here. So my hip is... 10 inches I always subtract for my knee I always subtract 2 inches from the hip and place down here so I'm going to come here and I'm going to place 8 inches at this point and then I'm going to come to the bottom over here and I'm going to place 8 inches as well on the skirt length now the next thing we'll do is to connect all the lines together so now this is the pattern that we have the next thing we're going to do is at the bottom here we're going to keep two inches that will serve as my allowance so when i say two inches you come from here you come from here and you're going to make a mark at two inches and simply roll a line across it connect here to here okay now the next thing is to come to the top so now there are measurements um we need to place your dots where your dots are supposed to be and then we're going to need to um pay the allowance back for the dot but first to begin what you are going to do is you do, if you don't know what to place you can simply divide your waist measurements in half so you see from here to here 7.5 okay what you have just measure from here to here and divide it by divide it into two if you are confused about where to place your dots so when you get the points you simply just mark it like so and then we're going to for the dots i'm going to hold a three inch dot now this dots i'm marking i'm not going to cut out i'm not going to show you how the dots is going to behave and then i'm holding a half inch dot meaning that you come from this side mark half an inch come from this other side and mark half an inch so you can just simply place the center 
half an inch on your tape in the middle and mark the beginning of your tape and mark where you have one inch the same thing and then now we're going to rule a line from this point up here and this point over here so you see that that's how my dart is going to behave i'm not cutting it up just showing you what's going to happen so because of this dart, i need to replace my allowances my allowance so normally i'm i wanted to keep one inch allowance everywhere around the skirt but because of this dart that i have here if i keep only one inch this dart alone by the time we join half half would consume the one inch and you not have anything left so because of the dart i'm holding here i'm going to place two inches here instead of one inch so the it is two inches there are two um, allowances inside the first one inch in the two inch is going to pay for this and the and the one inch that is left is what i'll use when i'm holding down the side so i'm going to come here i'm going to make a mark at one inch the knee area make a mark at one inch and at the end of the skirt make a mark at one inch now i'm going to simply join all my lines together and then now the next thing is we need to curve the front of the skirt by half an inch just half an inch so now the front of your skirt is going to have a curve so you see this red line i have here the first line that i drew i'm going to come after that line i'm going to make a mark at half an inch and then i'm going to draw a curve from here to the waist point so you see that simply draw a curve from here to here now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to cut it out all right now what i'm going to do is this because of the line i have drawn remember we kept half inch of sewing allowance here we need to still have half inch even though we have made this curve so we're going to make another curve using the top line now okay using the top line mm -hmm. so you see that so now when i'm sewing it's going to land right here okay You've seen the image that we're working with already. We're going to need to use this pattern to cut another side for the front. So it's an overlapping skirt. So there's one part underneath and another one on top. So I'm going to use this same pattern to cut another pattern that looks exactly like this. Okay, so you can see here, I have used the pattern to cut a replica. Okay, now what I want you to do is I need you to mark all the points that are on your side. So you see this curve that we have, we should have it on the pattern underneath because we need to know the size of the skirt without the allowance when we are working so you see this you are going to keep the paper on the same level open up right underneath where you have this mark that you made here for the end of your skirt make a mark on the other side okay do the same thing on here you see this point here the knee points are going to make a mark here now it's time for us to cut the back but while i'm at it i'm going to simply replicate the point on the other side so you see here because by the time i open up my pattern i want to have this line on both sides so what you do to each of them okay let me use this other pattern now okay if we flip over to this other side you will see that okay our points are marked here faintly okay that's the point that we made here because i'm using the marker it's stained this other part here simply do the same thing on the other side now you see if we open it up if we open it up you can see that there is a clear boundary here and here of where our lining starts and where our lining stops okay so now i need you to do the same thing i need to do the same thing on this other part of the fabric next time you see me here i have made a fold for my back and then i'll show you how to use this exact same the first pattern that we cut to cut the back okay so now this is the fabric that we're going to be using for that we're using for the back what i want you to do is i want you to draw a line that is two inches from the edge from top all the way down okay so you're going to come from the edge here make a mark at two inches from the top all the way down now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to place the original pattern that we drafted on top of this so you can see this is the pattern that we drafted okay this is the pattern that we drafted simply place this on top all right and then we're going to cut everything exactly the same the only place where it's going to be different is going to be at the top here remember we curved the front but we don't need that half inch curve at the back we need it only at the front signify where the hip line falls signify where the knee line falls 
okay signify where the end of the skirt is and then i'm going to basically cut a So you see that there is that's what it's going to be like so you see okay so now there are reasons why i made a mark at the hip point knee point and um, the waist is right there there's a reason why i made this mark so that we know exactly where it is i'm going to curve the hip the butt i'm going to do a little curve around the butt at the back just a little there are cases where i would be a bit more extreme but here i'm going to show you guys how just uh, how to cover it just a little so what we are going to do is this basically just come up here okay come up here make a mark at one inch okay you make a mark at one inch here okay you leave the two inches here the same come to the knee area make a mark at one inch and then make a mark at one inch at the end so i'm going to just taper it just a little bit not too much so that's how you go about it so you see i've connected here sloped it up before it got to the butt and then i'm going to do the same thing now i'm going to simply cover out to the top now okay so you see all right so here simply just connect here from here all the way like through like so and then now i'm going to cut it out i'm going to use this pattern now to cut the um to cut the back of the skirt but what you're going to do is because you might confuse yourself because there are curves on both sides so now that you're still drafting you come to the area where it's supposed to where you know that your zipper uh, allowance is going to be make a notch on this other side so that you are sure that this side here is not the hip this side is going to be um, at the butt and here is going to be at the hip so okay so what you can see here is that i have the two sides that are meant for the front so we're going to need to cut um we're going to need to cut one uh, cut them so that it forms the wrap so now first i'm going to start with the main parts okay so you see this part here what you are going to do is this you're going to lay it flat before you and then you're going to come from the left side so you see the way i'm laying on it this is my right side this is my left side okay so you're going to come from sorry you're going to come from the right side and then you are going to come to where you place your um you're going to need to place your waist to your slit measurements so the waist to the slit measurements you're going to come from here and look for it so the waist to the slit measurements so you basically measure from the person's waist to where the person wants the opening to start from so i'm working with a waist to slit of 15 inches so i'm going to make a mark at 15 inches and then rule a line and then now the next thing we're going to do is this you're going to come from the right side okay you're going to come from the right side and you're going to place 12.5 inches okay so 12.5 inches from the right side in okay so 12.5 inches from here now you see where i'm placing 12.5 from i'm coming from here okay from the allowance here not from the very, very beginning from where our line stops and the allowance starts from that's where i'm coming from and i'm going to come in to 12.5 inches and i'm going to make a mark now this 12.5 inches is not just a random number if you have a hip of between 36 to 40 you are going to use 12.5 okay so 26 to 40 here from the right coming in place 12.5 if you have a hip from 41 to 47 you add two inches to that number you're going to come from uh, from here to here you place 14.5 if you have a hip that's 48 and up you should be arrested because it should not be legal uh, for you to be walking around with a hip that is that size i think it's like it's like open carry it's like walking around with an ak-47 if i was in government having a hip of 47 or 48 and up would be illegal if i see you something like that they'll treat your case like they treat the case of um, a terrorist because you're walking around with with a weapon and terrorizing the society but if you have a hip of 48 and up then you add four inches to this 12.5 which will be 16.5 now what you are going to do when you are done with that is you are going to come down some more so you see this place here now you're going to come to the end of the skirt after placing 12.5 here because of the hip size i'm working with i'm placing 12.5 here but if you um i've already explained all of that now that i place 12.5 here i'm going to come down and i'm going to place 10 inches at the bottom here so from here in i'm going to make a mark at 10 inches okay if you are a person that has a hip of 41 to 47 you are going to place 12 inches down here i know that by now you guys get the gist of everything just basically add two inches if you have a hip between 41 and 47.
well 41 but i think for like 41 around 41 i would have still used maybe i add only just like one inch okay basically just take a look at it and with experience we're just trying to give you guys the numbers but with experience you would um, have an idea on what you're supposed to do now the next thing we're going to do is this you come from the hip on this side okay you see the hip we're coming we have on this side you come from here and you mark make a curve from here to here mark them connects here to here okay and then after that you basically connect here to the end all right so you see we've made the first curve okay and then i'm going to get the second side of the front you guys remember that we cut two sides for the front i'm going to get the second side of the front okay and we're going to do something similar similar to what we did before we're going to mark 15 okay similar to what we did before we're going to mark 15 from the top of the paper from the top here now notice i'm not coming to where we have the slip i'm coming to the edge okay when i'm taking it to this edge because this edge is still the original length that i took okay but here it isn't anymore so 15 rule really a line across so now for our marking we are going to come from the right when you are placing these measurements so now on this line here the slit line you are going to come from the edge now and you're and you're going to make a mark at six inches so you see here now look at this okay i'm going to come from here and i'm going to come to six inches and i'm going to make a mark at six inches you see that and then i'm going to come to the end of the skirt and i'm going to make a curve at five inches all right and now the next thing is to draw a line from your hip to here okay see what i just did just like that easy just simply try and make a curve from here to here and then connect that all the way down okay so now i have gotten the second pattern i've gotten the second pattern and i'm going to simply place this on top so if you see by the time i align the both sides okay by the time i align the both sides you notice that we have the slits over here okay so that's basically it. if you want to open it a bit after you've placed it like this you check and see if the slit is is indecent enough for you if <laughs> if it is if you want it to be deeper or you want it to be a lot more open you can open it up some more but basically i will just leave it like this because by the time we sew in half an inch when we're facing these places here and here will become more open than it already is so even if it looks a bit too decent for you you can <laughs> I'm, I'm joking i'm joking i'm going to use this pattern i'm going to place it on my fabric and i'm going to cut these patterns as they are so you see this this is going to have a pattern that looks just like it this one will have a pattern that looks, that, that looks just like it i'm not going to cut them on a fold okay i'm going to cut them i'm going to come back so that you can see what they look like okay for my fabric i'm using the same a similar fabric to what i used in my last video so i'll just say look for the highest crepe that you can find all right all right so as you can see i have used the pattern to cut them separately because the patterns for this and this is not the same so please make sure you cut them separately now the next thing i'm going to cut is i'm going to make a fold and cut the back so like we know the back two sides of the back are exactly um the same all right so you can see here i have cut my pattern and you can notice that where there was a notch in front of here i have made a notch as well all right so now what i'm going to do is for all the sides that i have okay so for the two sides of the front and the back that i have here i'm going to come to the wrong side and i'm going to iron on you guys guessed already interfacing okay so this is woven um, lightweight woven fusible interfacing so it's an interfacing feels like nylon fabric is really light you can see my hand underneath okay so here you can see the pattern that we uh, um that we are working with so now what i'm going to do is um for each of these parts okay look at it i've covered them all with the interfacing as you can see so this is going to sit now what i'm going to do is that for each of these patterns the front and the back i'm going to cut lining okay that lining would be exactly the same the same shape that we have already all right so you can see what we have here if i open underneath you will see that there is a pattern my lining okay now what i want you to do is i want you to come to the bottom of all of them and i want you to cut three inches off of your lining okay so you see this off the lining i'm going to cut three inches i'm going to reduce the lining by three inches over here okay i'm going to repeat the same thing on all sides all 
okay so you see that so now after you've cut all of them short next thing we need to do is we need to make a mark at the point where we had where we have uh that we're going to place it like so okay so this is where the dart point is i'm going to pick it up so you see I just place the pattern on top i found the dart point i'm going to make a notch here you can see the notch i made has marked on my fabric and my lining i'm going to fold this in half okay fold this in half and make a notch on the opposite side okay i'm going to repeat this exact same thing on the other side okay so you pick up the back remember we made a notch close to the zipper area remember we made a notch around the zipper area to show that this part here is where we have our zipper so we know that this is where the zipper is so what you're going to do is this you're going to make your fabric keep your paper you see this you're going to align the paper with the end here you see this align the paper with the end here this is the area with the zipper align the paper with this part over over here okay over here and then we're going to make a notch 